Welcome to ASU's University Academic Success Programs. This video will cover the topic using reduced row echelon form to solve a systems of equations. We will start by looking at the systems of equations. Negative 1x plus 5y is equal to 4 and 5x plus 2y is equal to 7. Now that we have the system of equations, we must translate it into matrix form. This will look like matrix A is equal to row 1, negative 1, 5, 4, row 2, 5, 2, 7. Now we must use row operations to make the matrix into reduced row echelon form. There are two row operations that we can do. The first is multiplying a row by a scalar and the second is adding the two rows together. We need to have our pivot point which will be the negative 1 in the top left hand side in the A11 position. We must make the pivot point so that it will be 1. But what is reduced row echelon form? For reduced row echelon form we are trying to get the matrix in the form of first row 1, 0, random number, second row 0, 1, random number. Now we can try getting into this form through row operations. Let's start by turning the number under our pivot into 0. What is our first row operation? Our first row operation would be row 1 multiplied by a scalar of 5 and added to row 2 to create a new row 2. This results in negative 1, 5, 4, row 2, 0, 27, 27. Now we must make our first pivot point 1 instead of negative 1. We do this by multiplying the first row by a scalar of negative 1. This will result in 1, negative 5, negative 4, row 2, 0, 27, 27. Now we simplify the second row by multiplying it by the scalar 1 over 27. This gives us 1, negative 5, negative 4, row 2, 0, 1, 1. Now our second pivot point is going to be in the A22 position in the matrix. To finish solving this matrix in reduced row echelon form, we must make the number above the pivot 0. We do this by multiplying the second row by a scalar of 5 and adding it to the first row. This results in 1, 0, 1, row 2, 0, 1, 1. Okay, it's in reduced row echelon form, but now what do we do? Now that the matrix is in reduced row echelon form, we can solve the systems of equations. The solution for the matrix will be x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 1. When these values are inserted into our systems of equations, we see that they give us the correct answers. In the first equation, 1 times 1 minus 5 times 1 is equal to negative 4. And in the second equation, 5 times 1 plus 2 times 1 is equal to 7. Okay, I think I got it, but let me summarize. First, we need to turn our system of equations into a matrix. After that, we use row operations to put the matrix into reduced row echelon form. From here, we can solve for our variables, and this will give us our final answer. Great job! You got it! Now all you need is a bit more practice. 